Did you get any sleep last night? Yeah, a little bit. I think I fell asleep around three. Is that enough? Yeah. It doesn't really sound like enough. Like, maybe you should get some rest. I got a lot of stuff I gotta do today. Like what? Gotta write some songs. Gotta go to work eventually. You can write later. Later I gotta figure out what I'm wearing. Okay. Where are you playing again? Mike's Tavern. Nobody cares what you're wearing at Mike's Tavern. Just throw on some jeans, a t-shirt. Mm. Playing alone? Franklin. He's singing, I'm on the keys. It's an awful setup for that venue. But still wear your jeans. Jeans don't get me tips. We don't make tips there anyway. I gotta get going. But I'll be at your show tonight. You start at seven? Yeah. Okay. Brush your teeth. Pick up your shit. Love you. Have a good day. is a fucking joke I think you would really like Lenat actually one of Stanley Kubrick's favorites. So? I don't even know who that is. He's just considered to be like the best American director ever. I don't know, I've told you a million times, I don't like movies. I know, but I think you would really like this one. Yeah? Why is that? It's about a bitter couple fighting. And why would I like that? I don't know. You seem angry all the time. Maybe you'd like watching other people be angry. That is not how it works. <laughs> Whatever. You should still watch it though. I mean, I could give you lists of films you should watch. You'd love them all. I just... I don't know. I never watch movies. I'm more of a music guy. No, but there are movies about music too. They're usually pretty bad, but <laughs> still. Hey, do you play any shows soon? Yeah, I got one tonight. Mm. Where? The patio. Fancy, fancy. Should I come? I'm not even uh, singing. I mean, I just started seeing this guy. Maybe we could come see you play. Oh, hey, hey I'm gonna get you. Uh, can I just have a, a small dark roast? Yeah. Okay. Do you want room for cream? No, thank you. All right, 250. Uh, right here. Nice hands, by the way. Thanks. Here you are. You are.
are all set, my friend. Thanks, have a good one. Bye. So what kind of music are you guys gonna play? Well, I'm more of a Sinatra type. He's more of The Weeknd. It's, uh, it's interesting. Sounds fun. I guess. I will definitely try to be there. Cool. So, are you unsure? Well, the applause wasn't necessarily resounding. Uh, I mean, there's hardly 50 people in here, and half of them are drunk, so they probably just went out to laugh. Thank you. Good job, man. Hey, thanks. What did I say? Mm. All right. mm. Where's Franklin? Oh, uh, bathroom? I don't know. I'm not his babysitter. Kind of are. Lydia! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> What'd you think of the show tonight? It was good. You did good, and that your suit was good. <sighs> Thank you. You know, I really wanted to look good for all the beautiful women here tonight. <clears throat> so, uh, coming to my place to party with Jerry Bear and I? <laughs> uh, no, actually, my friend texted me a little while ago. She's on the street. We're gonna go meet with her. Come on, you gotta come to my place so we can really party. Overdoses, just let him die. I'm not gonna do that. If you overdose, I'm gonna revive you and then I'm gonna beat you to death. Uh, just let me die. Cut out the middleman. <sighs> you have fun tonight. You too. Be safe. You be safe. Love you. Love you too. See you at home. Yep. <sighs> <sighs> 
I'm telling you, Jer, we were fucking killing it tonight, man. I guess. Oh, man, I'm telling you, man, we are this fucking close to being noticed by somebody. This fucking close from going from losers to fucking winners around here. Mm, you know what, Jer? I'm gonna write a song. I'm gonna write a fucking song that's gonna last forever, and you're gonna clack your fucking hands on that piano, and we're gonna be famous. We'll make history. Yeah, that's a big dream you got. You sure you don't want one or two songs? No, oh, no. Billy Joel was immortalized for just piano man. Orson Welles was made only famous for Citizen Kane. Who? What? I don't know who that is. He made Citizen Kane? Like the greatest film of all time? But you, you know I don't give a shit about movies. That's so weird. But that's not the point. All we need is one song and we'll be famous forever. Isn't that what you want, man? Isn't that your dream? Then what is your dream, Jerry? Well, I do have this one dream. A lot. And I kill this guy from high school. Why? Oh, he was mean. That's it. Well, I... He was really mean. So you... kill him? Yeah. How do you, how do you murder him? Well, it depends. Um, one time I pushed him off a cliff. The other time I threw him in an oven. Look, I don't know why I do it, but... It, all the time in my head, I murder Bradley. You know, I'm, hey! I'm kind of a... Hey! Hey! Will you boys keep it down? My bedroom is right above you. Sorry, Mrs. Sorry, Lynch. Mom. Is that cocaine? Yeah. Yeah, Mom. It is. Oh, you better be safe with that stuff. Back in the day, me and your father used to do that stuff. Back then, everybody did it. We thought it was healthy. How the fuck did you think that was healthy? It kept us thin, and you better watch your language. Sorry, man. I want you boys to know that back in the day, I used to be quite the catch. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, baby. And I just used to do a little bit of coke. Just enough so I wouldn't put on the pounds. Okay. Of course, you're a good-looking kid. You don't have to worry about being thin. Oh, stop it. You're welcome, honey. Now listen here, I'm going back to bed, and you two, keep it down. And you keep that stuff in the house. Night, Mrs. Lynch. Night, Mom. Oh, I should get going anyway. I have this terrible fear that Lydia's gonna make me do something tomorrow. Just don't do it. Yeah, I don't mind. You know? You really need to put her in her place every once in a while. I absolutely do not. Alright, man. Well, I'll be grading papers all day tomorrow. Don't be afraid to text me if you want to hang out. Cool. Peace. Later.
almost 11 o'clock. Wake up. Let me sleep a little longer. No, you'll sleep all day. What happened to your hand? Hmm? Oh, I fell walking home. You would have thought it was hilarious. Hilarious? Well, you would have laughed eventually. <laughs> Stop it. Come on. <clears throat> I want to go to the store. Let's go. Oh. I got to get cereal. Just cereal? And milk. We're out of that, too. <sighs> OK. Come on. Get up. <clears throat> Gee, ow, 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 my wrist. Sorry. How was your night last night? It's OK. Mary left early on with some guy, so Maddie and I didn't stay out for very long. Did Mary know the guy? Mm-mm. It's just a hookup. Hmm. I wonder what those are like. Because you never had one of those before? Right. Well, you know how, like, you and I cuddle after sex and it's really nice? Yeah, that doesn't happen in a hookup. Pretty boring. I hated him, actually. Luckily, those days are over for you. It never began for me. Good. You gonna be ready soon? Just gotta change. All right. Do you think no. we're fine where we put? I really think that you need to talk to your dad this week, actually. Really? We're doing that here, huh? It's the right thing to do. Let's just get your cereal. Oh my god. What? Oh, pizza sauce. Well, I suppose I could make pizza. See that old couple over there? Yes. I know that buddy. You remember my buddy from high school? He's in prison for robbery, fuck some chick in my car. Yeah, how could I forget that? Yeah, that's his parents. Oh. Okay. okay. They're right in front of the cereal. Good God. What you cannot have chocolate. I haven't seen him in years since that happened. Like, what do I say? How's it going? That's no. pretty simple. No. no. What's the problem with how's it going? I went on vacation with these people. You don't just hit them with how's it going. Okay, I don't uh -oh. know what your problem is right now, but we need cereal. Nope. We're going this way. Jerry. It's the sugar, honey. You no. can't have the sugar. Put it back. It's not for you. No, it says aspartame here. That's not sugar. That's worse. What's a flax seed? A what? A flax seed. I don't know. The seed of a flax. What the hell's a flax? I don't know, it sounds healthy. I don't need it. Jerry? Oh, okay. Mr. and Mrs. Wasserman. How's it going? I haven't, we haven't seen you in ages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, how's your father? Oh, you know, not so great. Really sorry to hear that. Yeah, thanks. Who's this? Oh, this is uh, my girlfriend, Lydia. You're a musician? Uh, lawyer. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> a real job. Okay. <laughs> just, just kidding. Oh. We'll have to come see you play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Um, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, oh the play. We have plans. Yeah, even, the, the even high school. We have tickets. They're doing Grease. Yeah. We love Reese. Our favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Reese. Gotta see it. Yeah. Reminds you of the good old days, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With segregation and whatnot. Is your generation's racist. How's Zach? Is he still in prison? You're still a schmuck! What is wrong with you? Great talking to you. you were playing right now? Like at a bar? I guess. Or anywhere? I don't know. The venue would have to be right. I'm not in a mood for a crowd. Will you play something for me? Aren't you working? I'm almost done. And I can finish the rest of this tomorrow anyway. Then yeah. Yay! Uh, 
A light shines in my bed Open in warm arms When the day is done Washing away the shadows around me Never dishing blame Never letting my smile wane I'll keep this light shining And hold it in my arms Until I'm cold forever Till the earth stops moving around the sun I'll keep her burning Light for me is a light for all the world. So there's a guy at the bar last night. Yes. The one who was talking to you at the end of my set. Oh, yeah. What? What did he want? He just wanted me to join him and his friends. Thought I was there alone. I told him I was there with you and he went away after that. Oh, okay. Cool. Are you a little jealous? Just curious. You don't like any guys hitting on your girl? No. They might snatch you away. Oh, please. It'll never happen. You're pretty lame. You're lame? You're the coolest guy I know. What's so cool about me? Well, for one, you play the piano. It's super hot. And two, you exclusively wear Star Wars underwear. <sighs> I'll give it to you. The underwear are pretty cool. My ex used to be obsessed with Mozart. Really? What was he obsessed about? I don't know, his music? <laughs> Didn't care to learn about the person, I guess. Although we did watch Amadeus a lot together. Have you ever seen it? Mm -hmm. oh, it's so good. But it's funny because it's supposed to be set in Europe and then all the actors use their own voices. So Mozart sounds like he's from Brooklyn sometimes. And that's wild. Yeah, it's like The Great Dictator. Pollock Goddard has that thick New York accent. Yeah, I've seen that one. Wait, really? No. That was mean. Hey, sorry I couldn't make it to your show on Friday. Oh, it's all good. I was actually putting the finishing touches on my own project. It's starting at showing tomorrow. Where at? Just the art building on campus. It's a little thing for the students to show off what we've made so far this semester. You should come. Maybe I will. And you could bring Lydia. I really want to meet her. It'll be like um, a soiree. We'll have mocktails, stuff like that. Soiree. Mocktails? Yeah, it's like ginger ale and mint to fake a mojito. All right. Is it black tie? No, not at all. Good. I don't own one. I think you'll have fun. What the fuck is up? I need you to do me a favor. Couldn't call. Ah, this can't be through a phone call. I need you to get me Coke. Like a two liter? <laughs> no, like, like, like grams. Look, this should be enough to get you a bag. No.
Oh, what do you mean, no? I'm not buying the drugs. <sighs> Look, man, my dealer's out of town after today, and I still have to teach class. Cancel class. I can't. We have an exam. Sounds like you're shit out of luck. Look, man, it's gonna be easy. I'll give you the address, you drive there, you pick it up, give them the bill, and then you leave. What if I get arrested? I won't get arrested. It's not even that illegal. It's a felony. It's a misdemeanor. No, possession of cocaine. Uh, you've been in possession before. No, you've been in possession before. Same fucking principle. Look, man. Give it to me Tuesday in class. All right? I'll give you extra cash. What kind of be like finders fee? So what, I'm your drug mule now? Jerry, I have dinner with the student on Tuesday. I need her to be happy, okay? Don't fuck me on this one. I guess. Okay, see you Tuesday. Fuck this. Jerry? Yeah? Hey, yeah, you're Frank's boy, right? Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, come on in, step into my office. Okay. You take your shoes off, please? Uh, yeah. So how do you know Frankie? Um, we play music together. Nice. What kind of music? Music to drink to. We play at bars. Oh, fun. All right. Yeah, he's... One of my other clients referred me to him. Great guy. Yeah, no big deal, though. <laughs> How many clients you got? Oh, 30? A 30 buy for me now, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's a baby. <laughs> that is a baby. That's right. It's my little boy, Danny. He's only a year old, though. He can't understand what we're saying. Fantastic. And this is your house? This is my house. And you just sell cocaine. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'm a stay-at-home dad. Wife's a marketing executive, and yet I'm the main breadwinner of the family. Gotta love it, right? What a country. Yeah, we're heading out for vacation in the AM. So, that's probably why Frank is freaking out so much. Huh? I'm good. You okay? You seem uncomfortable. Uh, honestly, I've never really bought drugs before. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the movies, man. It's just a transaction. It's not a big deal. How much does he want? Um, whatever. This will get him. Sweet. Step into my office here. Uh, yes. Yeah. That ought to cover it. Dope. Indeed. <laughs> hmm? No, nah, no. Nah. Doctor told me to cut back. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I really gotta. Go. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk you to the, yeah. Uh. Hey, um, shoes. Shoes. <laughs> I can wear them if you leave them here. How about we switch? Yeah, bad joke. I'm a Birkenstocks guy myself. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, boots, I need the extra inch. Yeah. That's what my girlfriend tells me. Well, we can't all. Be perfect. <laughs> yeah, no, hey. I can come see your show sometime. Yeah. Aren't you playing tonight? 
We are, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I used to play piano. You know, I, 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 I what was it? A, f a fiddle sticks or the the can chopstick? Chopstick, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a bar downtown that does that. You can just kind of they'll play Elton right, John I, for I, you. Or I something. gotta go. Thanks, man. I'll, I'll see you later. You sure, buddy? I've got plenty of just. <laughs> you know, we like to party in here, buddy. Come on. of Emily's work here. Do you know her? Yeah, I work with her at a coffee shop. Oh. I'm Jerry. <laughs> this is my girlfriend. I'm Dr. Frederick Moore, head of the art department here. Um, teach a few classes here too that uh, one that Emily actually is in. Nice to meet you. Huh? I'm Lydia, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is quite gifted. You see, she, she uses a wide array of colors to better exemplify the wide spectrum of human sexuality. Now, if you, if you look from right to left, it flows from masculine to feminine, clashing in the middle as if to come to grips with one's own self. That's a dick. What he um, means to say is that yeah, it's this very... This is like porn. I feel like I'm looking at porn. <laughs> Aren't there kids running around here? <laughs> they won't know what they're looking at. Now you're the second person to say that to me today. <laughs> <laughs> you came! Yeah, I did. Thank you! You must be Lydia. Hi. Hi, I'm Emily. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Morris, you're the screen. So, what do you guys think? It's very... Creative. Mm. Yeah, uh, Dr. Moore was just... Telling us... That right, um, it's about very, the, uh, um, the, the spectrum of human sexuality. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, basically it just kind of came to me in a dream and I had to materialize it. We should go. Yeah. This is weird. Mm-hmm. Free drinks. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't want to look at anybody else's shit, so. Do you think they're fucking who? Emily, Dr. Fuckface. She's like 20. And he is yeah. not. Hmm. The spectrum of human sexuality. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Honey? Yeah? Who was the first person today to tell you a kid was too young to know something? What? The thing earlier tonight. You told the professor that he was the second person to tell you that someone was too young to know something. Who was the first? Did I not tell you what I did today? Mm -mm. Well, Franklin stopped by. Jesus Christ. And he was going on about some girl. Great. And he was busy with class, so he asked me if I'd go buy blow for him. At this house in the suburbs, and there was... You bought drugs. For Franklin. You bought drugs for that asshole. Yes. Why the ever-loving fuck would you do something so stupid? I... No, you know that's a felony? You, you know you could have been arrested for that? You, you can't just go buy fucking cocaine. 
Well, listen, I tried to say no. You tried to say no? How do you try to say no? Don't you just say no? Let me give you an example. Hey, Franklin, you asshole. I'm not gonna fucking buy cocaine for you so you can fuck some 19-year-old in your mother's basement. Maybe I said yes because- Because you're a moron? Is that why you didn't say no? Because you're a fucking moron. How, how could you do something so stupid? Huh? What was your plan? Did you think I was gonna bail you out? W w was that what you were expecting from me? Jesus Christ, did you do my whole fucking office would have known you were arrested? <laughs> there was a drug bust today. Out in the suburbs. The cops drove right by me. So you would have been arrested. It's fucking great. It's fucking great, Jerry. Where are you going? To get the fuck away from you. Come on. Stop. No. Please. I spend all of my time worrying about you. And you go out and you do the dumbest things you can possibly think of. I know you're not asleep. I know you're probably hurting. Said a lot of awful things earlier today. I didn't mean for them to come across as harsh as they did. I just, I just worry about you. I know you're going through a hard time and that hurts me. I just don't want you to put your life in danger like you did earlier. You're the best part of my life. Sometimes I think that um, I'm all that you have. I know you're lonely. And I know you think that Franklin is fun. I just wish that you'd be safe. some different people, but I know he's your best friend. I just, I don't want you dead. I don't want you in jail. I love you. So, I'm not mad at you anymore. And I hope that we can talk again soon. Jer Bear, what's up, man? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, right here. Oh. Woo! Mm. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm. What's wrong? You know, I almost got arrested for that, right? What? Yeah. When I was leaving your buddy Roy's place, a cop pulled up. And now Lydia knows. Mm. And last night she blew the fuck up on me. Ah, I'm sorry, man. You know, I really didn't expect for that to happen. I mean, usually Roy's pretty safe about those things. Those yeah, things. safe. Well, now he's in jail. Then on a vacation with his little baby. <laughs> you know, it's not my fault. You had a choice to say yes or no. Whatever, man. Fuck you. I'm out of here. All right. Professor Lynch, is this a bad time? Oh, no. 
And you know you can call me Frank. I know. Who's this? Uh, this is my friend Jerry. Jerry, this is Katie. She's my favorite student. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just coming to see if we were still on for tonight. Of course. See you at seven. Seven, yeah. Nice to meet you. You too. So that's the girl I almost got arrested for? Yep. What is she? She's so young. She's easy. Disgusting. Ah, man, they're so easy to impress. Well, I'm still a little mad at you, but we should hang out later. All right. It's actually later. Yeah? You know, we could switch. You stock shelves, I run security. Or we could have fun. I mean, you're in charge. Fun at work? What'd you have in mind? Do you like cold brew? Hate it. Me too. I have an idea. All right, we're gonna see who can chug these glasses. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah, that's the point. It'll be fun, I think. Ready? I don't wanna do this. I don't care. Three, two, one, go. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh. oh, God, that was disgusting. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not crazy about that idea. Oh, I'll never do that again. I feel so anxious. <laughs> well, at least we'll be up all night now. Yeah, I got a show tonight. At least I'll be high energy. Really? Where? Not telling. <laughs> Why? It's not in the best part of town. Then why are you playing it? Oh, you know, it's a gig. I get to practice, they pay me. Well, stay safe, I guess. Look, I just want to come see you play soon. I mean, you came to my thing and I want to be a good friend back. It meant so much that you guys came. That's what friends do. Did, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, when do I get to go to an art show? Yeah, no one ever really does. It's like super rich people. No offense, I don't think you are. No, not even a bit. <laughs> Your professor seemed nice. Oh, he is. Lots of us like him. Yeah. You seem to really like him. <laughs> Yeah, and... Listen, I know you don't want to hear it. <laughs> well, I'll say it anyways. He doesn't love you. <laughs> okay, that's okay. It is? Yeah, because I don't love him. I mean, he's just some older guy I have fun times with. He's not married. I don't think we're soulmates. We're just... Some weird fling. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm worried that if it is... It's not. I'm sure he does this with a lot of his students, so it's really not a big deal. Gotcha. Look, in a couple of months, I won't have his class anymore. And in a couple of years, I'll probably never see him again. I'm young, Jerry. I have time to do stupid things like this. Okay. Look. I know that you're just worried about me and looking out. I appreciate it, but don't. I'm more in control than you know. Good. <laughs> Great. Uh. Hey. Uh. Gotta wake up. Gotta get ready for your show. Uh. Mm-hmm. They won't notice if I'm low energy. I don't know. They might get rowdy out there and start throwing bottles at you. <laughs> They're not ready for that shit show. Mm -hmm. No? Mm-mm. Hmm. I'm trying. Did you have a long day? I had a draining day. Why? What happened? Well, first, I had to meet Franklin's student he's fucking. 
Yeah, she's a nice girl, and he's going to ruin her. Good. And I try to be a responsible adult with Emily. Mm-hmm. I think she thinks I was being condescending. Huh. All that with the fight last night is just... It's been a day. I'm sorry, babe. You know, we could just say fuck all of our plans and stay in for the night and sulk together till we feel better. Mm. No. Mm. I gotta go play. Fine. And you should go out with your friends. Let's get out of this apartment. You're probably right. <sighs> Well, since we're, you know, being all grumpy and stuff, can I, uh, can I pile on? Do you have to? I want to. Hit me. You should go see your dad. No. You should. I don't want to. He's gonna die, say. Good. He's old and he's alone. And he has no idea who I am. He's still your dad. And I hate him. It wasn't his fault. And whose fault was it? You should go see him before it's too late. All right, thank you guys, thank you guys. I got one more for you. This one doesn't have any words. So I'm gonna play it for you. I'm gonna get some drinks. I think I need them. Whatever you play, we're gonna love it. Thank you. We'll see. Hey, 
sleepy. How did I get here? Uh, some passerby has found you in a pool of your own vomit on the street on the bad side of town. What? You were roofied. They had to uh, pump your stomach. Oh, great. The police say you probably drank a spiked drink. We also said you probably saved some woman's life. Hmm. On the upside, you got some free drugs out of it, right? Thanks. How do you feel? Like shit. Thanks for asking. The doctor said she'll be right back. She said she'll be fine, but you'll probably feel awful the rest of the day. Great. Sounds like a party. You know, being roofied is one hell of a thing. I know a girl way back in college. She was roofied. Fucked her up for years. I've never been drugged like that, though. Yeah, it definitely wasn't fun. So, did you have any dreams? What? Like, while you were out? I don't think so. So, it was like regular sleep? No, I would say it's like... You know when you get surgery and they put you under? Ah, that sucks. You know, when they put me under for my vasectomy, I... Wait, wait you've had a vasectomy? Yeah. You were like 30. Yeah. Why? I don't want kids. All right, wear a condom. Who likes wearing condoms? <laughs> I know for a fact you have a lot of sex mm -hmm. with a lot of strangers. All the time. Mm. I even know you paid for sex. Mm-hmm. You're disgusting. It's your opinion. No, that, it's all, it's that's all not my opinion, opinion, buddy. That's, that's, a, that's your it's opinion. It's probably a lot of people's no, that's, opinion. That's your opinion. No. All, all right. right. All right. You are, you are one terrible person. I don't know why I hang out with you. Honestly, <clears throat> I think I should go. All right. Did Did you need a ride home? No, I'm good. All right, man. We'll try not to die out there. So I'll see you tomorrow. Text me later, man. You okay, honey? Yeah. Why? You just seem far away sad. Not far away sad. So nothing's bothering you? Well, things are always bothering me. So what's bothering you right now? It's gonna sound silly. No, you won't. It's this drug thing, it's got me a little fucked up. Sorry I made fun of you. It's okay. That's how we do. No, it was mean. Some of it was funny. I'm just glad we're up here, getting some fresh air. Yeah. You seem like you needed to get outside. Yeah, I could. You know, you can talk about it whenever you want to. Thanks, babe.
Hey. Hi. You want to grab lunch? Oh, um, I'm actually getting dinner with a friend later. I kind of want to be hungry for that. Sorry. You want to come anyway? Keep me company? Well, someone has to watch the shop. And close it. Well, we might get busy. All right. Well, you're going to actually have to be in here. I'll be back. Okay. Bye. Howdy, stranger. Um, hi. I know Bruce Willis. Good for you. John McClain. I don't know who either of those people are. Well, we hang out whenever he's in town. Buys me stuff, we search for trim. I find him jobs. Well, what kind of stuff you buy you? Lots of stuff. But it's not about the money for me, you know? I was never really one to want to race all those rats down the Autobahn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't care about the commodification of wealth, you know? Human beings, we are meant to live out there. Right there, in nature. Nature. Yeah. Man was never meant to live past hunter-gatherer. It's the liberals in fucking Congress that want us to work till we die, give us enough benefits, so we don't realize that they're fucking us all around with their taxes to fund their wars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Listen, listen, you need help or something, buddy? Me? No. Oh. I did try to end my life once, but... The doctors, they say they revive me, but I still think I'm dead. I, I went to heaven, I hated it, you know. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, well, mm -hmm. oh, I'm good. I've had enough, all you. Okay. Oh. Good talk. Yeah, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Hey buddy, don't forget your hat. Pina colada. I met a homeless man today. You did? So what made him stand out? He came up to me while I was eating my salad. A salad? Yeah, at the cafe down the street of the bookstore. Mm. You know we've been there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what about him? I think he just wanted to be heard. Mm. I listened. It really bummed me out. Why did it bum you out? They reminded me of my dad. You know, the rambling and the faraway look in his eyes. Just did that make you feel guilty? Maybe. Like, maybe you should, um... I think I know where you're getting hit. Well, I mean, it's the right thing to do. <sighs> I know. I just wish it was mom instead. I know. But it wasn't all his fault. If you want, I can go with you. No. I wouldn't make you go there. Seeing them like that, it's, it's sad. I don't mind. Yeah, but still, I, I think I'd rather go alone. Why? It, it's my dad. It's a whole thing. Okay. Oh, I have to go out of town soon. What for? Um, it's for work conference. A lawyer tech stuff. Lawyer tech? Mm-hmm. It's really boring, so I'm not going to explain it to you. My boss called me this morning, though, but it'll just be 
Thursday and Friday, I'll be back Saturday morning. Could be fun. Mm. You're gonna miss some of my shows, though. Mm. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you seem funny. <laughs> yeah, but I still hate missing them. I ain't even mad. <laughs> okay, good. So you're like smarter than me, right? I don't know if I'd say I'm smarter than you. Well, I mean, you got a real job, a law degree, and they're just not giving those out to everyone. Okay, but that doesn't make me smarter than you. Well, it does, but that's not the point. What's the point? The point is, I have a question that I think only you can answer. Oh. What's the question? What is an electrolyte? That's your big question. Yeah, I saw it on a sports drink, and it's just been driving me crazy. Uh, I have no idea what an electrolyte is. Me neither. You got your toothbrush? Yes. Deodorant? Yes. Knowledge of technical law? <laughs> Law, technology. Whatever the fuck. Yes, I got that too. All right, my boss should be here, so. Have fun, be safe. You be safe too. Good luck at your show. And have fun at work if you decide to go. Saturday. Love you, darling. Love you too. Freddy fucking Chopin. Feels so good today I'm gonna fuck the world Gonna have a good fucking time Gonna regret all my life choices Eventually everyone I love will die Alright, thank you everyone, thank you You know, we've had a lot of fun tonight I hope you did too. Thanks, man. Yeah, I got one more for you, because I gotta go to sleep. This one, it's one of my favorites. It's about my mom, who died a couple years back. Mrs. White, gone without warning. Mrs. White, Never had the chance to say goodbye Mrs. White left in the morning Mrs. White never had the chance to call it a night She put on her makeup without any doubt Her drunken husband wasn't looking about They crashed a car and then she blew her brains out cuz Mr. White, crash without warning. Mr. White, never had the chance to apologize. Mr. White, drink in the morning. Hey, piano man. Hey, what's up? How much? I just want to tell you, great job, man. Thanks, man. That last song cracked me up. Really? Yeah, it was one of those upbeat songs with the funny lyrics. They get me every time. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah. Hey, how'd your mom die? Um, well, a car accident um, a couple years ago. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah. I don't really want to talk about it. Okay, sorry about that. Have a good night. Mm. You can have a whole fucking house party now that Lydia's out. No rules, no consequences. Dude, she's my girlfriend, not my mother. What's the difference? Hey, dear. How'd the show go last night? It went really well. I'm hoping to have a similar one tonight. At the same place? Yeah. Hey, maybe me and Frankie will show up. Yeah, I really like that. Starts at eight. Yep. I think we can make that. Mm. What you doing the rest of the day? I think I'm gonna go see my dad. Oh, shit. No, you're looking further than that one. It'll be fine. Mm. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Um, gonna be a little bit late to your show. Gotta get a drink with one of the other professors. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I gotta get going. Hmm. Thank you so much for breakfast, Mrs. Lynch. Anytime, honey. You, I'll see you later. Later. More bacon, Mom? Damn, boy, how much bacon can one man eat? Uh. <sighs> Fuck this. <sighs> okay. This isn't gonna be that fucking bad. Let's do this. Here for a visit? Yeah. I'm here to see Pat Newley. Pat, are you his son? Yeah. Okay. So I'm kinda I'm kinda new here. Uh they've warned me about you. You can't make a disturbance. Yeah, I know. You guys told me this last time. I mean he just just go and talk. Don't yell. Just go talk to him. I saw him walk in there. Oh, walk in there, kind of saunter in there, so just kind of look for him. Thanks. Hi, Dad. Dad? Pat. Are you talking to me? Yeah. It's Jerry. I don't seem to know any Jerry's. I'm your son. <laughs> My wife and I, we don't have any kids yet. Have you seen her? She's not here. She's a, she's a very thin woman. She's dead. She can't be. You killed her. I did not. How's this place treating you? Are they stealing your shit? Oh, no, 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 no. The, the staff is fine. I just can't seem to find my wallet to leave them a tip. You know, I'd ask if you're getting better, but I don't think you know the answer. Honestly, I don't care. I don't know why Sarah would want to move here. She's not here. Oh, oh uh, Sarah's my wife's name. Yeah, I know. She's a, she's a very thin woman, Shannon. You killed her. I did no such thing. The insurance company says you were driving 87 miles an hour. Me? They pulled you from the car, but she was already dead. I don't have any children. I'm right here. Have, have you seen my wife? She, she, she left me here all alone. I, I don't know why she left me alone. She's dead. She's and honestly, you should be dead too. She's a very thin woman. <laughs> Would you like me to play the piano for you? What? Oh, the, the, the staff won't mind. I'm a really good piano player. We could play no together. No one wants to hear you play. 
what we could play together. And, and when she comes back, she can watch. She's probably just in the bathroom. You'll be fine. Good. I, 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 I just don't, I can't figure out what to play. I, um, how about, um... This is unnecessary. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll start something simple, okay? Do you know it? Yeah. What if I play you an, an original? No. I've been working on it a long time. I think you'll like it. believe so does something seem wrong well I need him dead well we ch check all our patients every day I think their vitals seem fuck his vitals I need you to put him down like a dog or something no we would can't you, euthanize him like a dog or would something. you like to hear another piece I'm, not, I'm so sorry sorry um would you like to hear another one no I would not like to hear another fucking song I know I no disturbances Uh, just resting before my show. How's the conference? <sighs> that bad, huh? Uh, nothing much. I had breakfast with Franklin and his mom. Yeah, yeah, his mom. She's, she's a nice lady. No, no, I'm fine. I, my voice is a little weak. I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm still gonna do the show. I'll just say, I'll just get some soup or something. But hey, listen, I just, I really had to hear your voice before I went on tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I gotta go. I love you, honey.
What's up, everybody? Uh, we're gonna have a special guest tonight, a local pianist. He's gonna play some funky jams for us. I'll uh, give it up for Jerry Newley. How are we doing tonight? I'm gonna play some songs for you, whatever. Sorry. Hey, Jerry. Jerry, wake up, man. He's got a pulse. He's breathing. All right, hey, you gotta grab his phone, his wallet, anyone you can call. Hey, bring the stretcher in. You go talk to me? Come on. What brings you here? Like, right here? Right now? As in, my office. What brings you here? Well, I was told I have to be here. And why were you told that? This is a psych evaluation. I'm here to find out if I'm crazy. Jerry. I don't think you are crazy at all. Not one bit. I tried to kill myself. That doesn't mean you're crazy, okay? That means you had a very bad day. I have a lot of bad days, Doc. I believe that you do. Why don't you tell me what happened on Friday, was it? I drank a bunch of drain cleaner. Before that? I don't know. Jerry. Yeah, you do. I was, uh, playing a show. I'm a pianist. How'd that go? Very bad. Mm-hmm. Why is that? I was upset. Okay, and what made you so upset? 
because I saw my dad. Hmm. Okay. And how was he? Terrible. He has this uh, horrific memory loss. Hmm. Okay. So is that what made you so upset? The memory loss? No. He killed my mom. As in he, he murdered her? Sort of. Okay. Jerry, what I'm understanding here, what I'm hearing is that you tried to kill yourself. You wanted to die because your mother's dead. Is that correct? No. I wanted to kill myself because I felt alone. When I see my dad, I feel alone. Uh, then why see him at all? It was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Jerry, the uh, young woman that you came here with, I believe that's your girlfriend, correct? I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, she has stayed here the entire time that you've been with us. She's been right outside. Yeah, I know. Clearly I know. cares a lot about you. Fuck. Oh, I fucked up. Man, Jerry? Man, fuck. Fuck. Jerry, Jerry, come on. Oh, I would have hurt her so bad. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Jerry, Jerry, I need you to breathe, okay? Bring it down. I need you to breathe. What I'm trying to say is, she cares about you. A lot. And that, that is so obvious. A lot of people do. Right now, I want to focus on making sure that you care about yourself. I need you to do that for me, okay? You think we can do that? Okay. 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 I need to get better. I am 100% confident that we can get you better, okay? Good. Good. Hey, honey. Yeah? I'm sorry. It's okay. I... I should have called you. I know you would have picked up. I just... I couldn't feel like that anymore. I'm not upset. And I'm here. Okay, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. And you can talk to me about anything, about whatever you want, whenever you want. I'm gonna help you get better. We're gonna, we're gonna go home and we're gonna get you the medicines that you need and, and everything's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna be happy. Okay. I love you. I love you too. So, what do you do all day? Just kinda sit in bed. On this thing called a pink slip, which means I have to be monitored for three days. Oh, that sucks. It's okay. You know, Lydia's always here, and some of the nurses are fun. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, once a day they let me out for a meal. They got me on these new antidepressants, see if they make me feel better. Is that all? No. Uh, two days a week I gotta go see a therapist. Hmm. Do you like them? Uh, yeah. He's cool. Good to hear. 
I, uh, it's stupid. I made you something. I don't know. It's stupid. I just, it's how we can match. These friendship bracelets. They are. Oh, it's got my name. Yeah, very original. Yeah. Well, hey, give me these at work, because here they'll take them. Oh. Think I'm gonna. Got it. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't even think about it. Um. I'm, I'm sorry if I was ever mean to you. You were never mean to me. I just, and I didn't know you felt so bad, and I would have been a better friend if I did. You're a great friend. Listen, I don't think anyone knew I was feeling the way I did. Not even me. Hey, when I get out of here, we should have a movie night. <laughs> you hate movies. Yeah. But you don't. We can watch anything you want. Anything? Almost anything. Preferably a musical. I think I can think of some musicals. Perfect. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. I heard it's also four hours long. No caffeine? Amplifies anxiety. No alcohol either, huh? Amplifies depression. <laughs> that shit would drive me insane. Yeah. It's gonna be worth it, though. <laughs> I guess. You know, man, you really scared the shit out of me when I found you. Yeah, I know. I'm real sorry. It's all good, man. As long as you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Never again. I'm happy you were there. Right place, right time, right? Tried to clean up as much as I could when the paramedics left. We gotta get going. Yeah. We gotta get to the pharmacy before it closes. I understand. Love you, man. Love you, too. Is there anyone else you want to see while you're home? Maybe tomorrow. Kind of like a nice, relaxing night. You know, I was thinking about what Dr. Reed said. Maybe we should get a cat or a dog or something. You know, that way you won't be by yourself when I'm not here. I'd like a cat. I had one when I was a kid. Okay. We can go to the shelter tomorrow. Are we allowed to have a cat here? You gonna tell on us? Cat might. Do you want to take your pills in the morning or at night? At night, I think it'd be easier. Have you not been home yet? No. You know that. I was with you the whole time at the hospital. Just kind of figured you'd come home and get rid of this. Is that your... You just give me that. You, you, you don't have to read that. That's okay. It's been too long since I've seen the sun I feel nothing but cold and sore Maybe when I'm dead it'll all feel better I just can't live like this anymore 
Sorry to those I've left behind Some time now since I fell down. I'm finally starting to feel like myself again. Don't get me wrong, I'm still confused and unsure of a lot. But I'm learning that's okay and it's fine to be afraid. Is it not? That's okay, I know better now I've loved and lost and here I find I'm almost drowned I'm undefined, but I've got time to figure it out I'll figure it out 